How often do you have an opportunity to become the owner of an iconic American treasure? And the Durango and Silverton is an American treasure. There's nothing like it in this country. My name is Alan Harper. My wife, Carol, and I are the owners of the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. It was built to service the mining industry in the La Plata Mountains, San Juan Mountains. Uh, it arrived in Durango in 1881 and made it to Silverton in 1882. It carried the supplies in and mowers out. As a kid, of course, uh, like so many people, I had Lionel railroads. My dad gave them to me. And I tease people that my railroads grew up and uh, I'm now in the one-to-one -one scale instead of O scale. I love history. I, I believe that uh, the understanding of our past is critical if we want to have a prosperous future because history is really the roadmap to the future. I have this particular interest in railroads, so my niche in historic preservation has been railroads. And these railroads are dying all over the country, steam railroads, historic freight railroads. And I'm convinced that I could make any historic property stand on its own without charity and taxes if it's done right. And I think the best way to preserve railroads to make their presentation so interesting and exciting that people will pay a fair price for the experience. This year, this railroad will carry about 185,000 people. That's pretty much proof that our theory's right. And I've just uh, really dedicated myself for the last 18 years to not only preserve the history of this railroad, but to carry that message to another railroad I own in North Carolina called the Great Smoky Mountain Railroad, but also to railroads throughout the United States. And I've traveled extensively giving talks about this very issue. Riding on the Durango and Silverton truly is, a, a, unless you keep doing it over and over, like a lot of our people do, they're repeat riders, but it is a once in a lifetime experience. Where else can you ride a train on a 400 foot cliff, see a 14,000 foot mountain out in front of you and watch a moose wading through the bogs? I mean, where can you do that in one trip in a three and a half hour time span? There's a reason National Geographic says we're the number one train ride in North America, and there's a reason why the travel riders have said we're one of the top three railroads in the entire world. My favorite part of being on the train, though, is meeting people. I get to meet people and share with them my passion for what I do with this railroad, but also see the joy in their faces of having the experience that we're able to offer. And, and so you have this wonderful uh, natural beauty that God gave us on the exterior of the car, but then you have this wonderful intermingling of people enjoying life and sharing their lives with each other. What could be better than that? I think there is one other thing I, I think that's very important about our railroad. You know, without the people that are the the crews on the trains and the office people and the marketing people and the museum people. If I didn't have those dedicated people, this would be a static display, would be boring and would disappear. It would just disappear. So in addition to having this great trip that God gave us through the wilderness, in addition to having this marvelous historic equipment, our railroad is loaded with people dedicated to its preservation, that love it as much as I do. You can walk through this railroad, and I don't care if you talk to a store clerk, a person cleaning the car, or you talk to a mechanic or the engineer. You're gonna find out those people love this railroad, and they wanna share that love with everybody that comes. And that, to me, is just as important.